Some people say kayfabe is dead. I agree that it isn't as important as it used to be, but many, including myself, appreciate when a wrestler stays true to character in the heat of a promo or match. Today, the character is just as important as in-ring ability, thus adhering to kayfabe is crucial when performing. This video will cover 5 times wrestlers shockingly broke character. Triple H and Undertaker went to war for the second time at consecutive WrestleManias. With Shawn Michaels as a special guest referee, the trio put on a great performance for a match that was billed as the end of an era, meaning it was the last time these men would be in the same ring together. Now after Undertaker emerged victorious, he couldn't help but embrace Triple H and HBK at the top of the ramp, in a moment that will be remembered forever. The immense show of respect here was amazing, but completely out of character for both Taker and Hunter. You ever been hit with a battery? Okay, probably not, but they're hard as hell and must hurt a ton. Shawn Michaels learned that the hard way when a fan threw a battery from the crowd that hit HBK right in the forehead. Michaels was understandably in pain and pissed off, but what happened next wasn't expected. Shawn would just stop in the middle of his promo about WrestleMania 14 and leave. Yup, he just called it quits and went backstage, of course breaking character in the process. Side note, how good was that fan's aim? For most of his career, Triple H has been a heel, and it was no different when he led the authority a few years back. During an episode of Raw in January 2015, he was sitting ringside during a match. A young fan near him began chanting his name, but being a heel and all, he told him to stop. The 8 year old boy got upset and started crying, which caused Triple H's fatherly instincts to kick in and go comfort the boy. He tried cheering the kid up, as did Stephanie McMahon when she realized what was happening. He must have felt pretty bad, because he even arranged for the young fan to come backstage after the show. When you think of Mean Gene Okerlund, you probably think of the nice, respectful WWE announcer and interviewer. Well, back at SummerSlam in 1989, the world got a look at the real Gene Okerlund. Just as his live interview with Rick Rude was starting, a sign behind Okerlund fell down, causing a loud bang. Okerlund, startled and all, yelled out the F-word for everybody watching to hear. Now of course, this was more of a reaction than anything, but Gene still broke character, and WWE commentator Jesse Ventura would use it to berate him immediately after. Before we get to number 1, here are some honorable mentions. When Jim Ross, and more specifically Jerry Lawler, broke character announcing Owen Hart's death, Randy Orton comforting Shane McMahon's family after he was injured at Survivor Series, and both the Curtain Call and Montreal Screwjob, as they are both significant but are already extremely well known. The Undertaker was a certified American badass, but he's more well known for his dark, mysterious character who is devoid of any emotion. That's why it's so surprising when he actually breaks kayfabe, but when he does, you can be sure it's for a good reason. Back in 2008, WWE was having a proper farewell for Ric Flair on Raw, where many superstars and veterans came to see him off. At the end of the night, after the show went off the air, The Undertaker came down to the ring. Here, Undertaker would offer the Nature Boy the highest level of respect he could. He knelt down to Flair. Following this, the two embraced, causing the dead man himself to tear up a bit. It was an amazing moment where I'm actually glad Undertaker broke character. And those are 5 times wrestlers shockingly broke character. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more wrestling content. Also, if you're not already, be sure to follow Wrestling Hub on Twitter. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.